Black Men Run by Christy Thomas. Sometimes me and my friends, we sit around and joke about a world where black men are in charge. Not your typical sight, but the world would still be oh so bright. Black men married to black women, creating black love and shared with raising black babies. See, black love is powerful. See, a black fist in the air will always mean something to the black person that knows what it means. It's the roots. The roots that have grown so deep and spread so far and wide. The roots of the biggest, baddest elm uh, or oak tree from 300 years of solid growth. But that's all that black history is. Years Years of black growth. See, when my black president speaks, I will listen. Celebrating the history of our people that is not only taught in schools, but praised and admired. Our children no longer have to seek out their black history because it is written in their books, on the shelves at their schools, and proud with hundreds of years of deep black blood running through the pages and right on to their fingers. If a black man ran the world, we would never allow hatred to speak, but rather silence it forever. So that its freedom of speech that it tries to preach is reduced to such a foul language being rinsed out with bleach. <laughs> a world where my president does his inaugural speech in front of all the little black boys and black girls that look up to him. All of us standing on the steps of the Lincoln Memorial, waiting for him to speak. Talk his words of wisdom. Share inspiration to a black crowd the only way a black leader could. Free at last. We didn't land on Plymouth Rock. Segregation never. Integration now. There will be no more Lorraine motels. No more fingers pointing in the direction of the shooter. No more black men will be assassinated, executed, murdered, hung by a rope on the tallest tree. Let us into your schools. Offer your open arms into your families. Stand by us on the street and start a conversation. See, your blue sky is just as beautiful as ours. The same sky. The same right to live without fear. The same feet that walk the same way. Oh, my hero? My hero would be me. See, years down the line, when people talk about him, great, magnificent, brilliant, a family man, supported all people, not just his people, a man of the people, a true American hero. <laughs> See, black men would run the hell out of this country because we, we have always been on the bottom of every pile ever created. The unemployment pile, the shoot first, ask questions pile, the better off in jail pile, the, the, uh, the stop and frisk pile, the war on drugs pile, the stick them in jail to rid the streets pile, the largest pile of crap one could scrape together, throw black men on the bottom, and we would call it a old oppression meets new. I'm going to change that dialogue. Yeah. Make the picture of the black man look like that of any man who cares and takes care of home. See, my heroes are men that I never had the chance to meet. But their spirit is still alive that I just want to be more like them. I'm 
Martin, Malcolm, Medgar, Frederick, W.E.B. Du Bois, Obama, an endless list of names that will forever go down in history. So the next time we sit and talk about this, I'm going to suggest putting us all to work. You see, black lives really do matter. At least to me. The teenage black boy. To the black boys looking for heroes with nothing specific to grasp onto. To the black boys with no mentor, no father, no teacher, and no direction. To the black boy who thinks he is ready to be a black father with no knowledge of what it actually means to father a black child. To the black boy that doesn't trust that he is enough person to handle everything. To the black boy who was raised by a black mom. And yet she still wonders what he missed out on. To the black boy in the back of the classroom struggling to read at a fourth grade level in his senior year because the system is not fighting for him, with him, or because of him. To the little black boy that prays to his God every night on his knees that he doesn't die the next day. To the special black boy that knows his color, knows he's a target, knows he should probably live in fear, but chooses not to. To the stand up black boy who is bound and determined to make a point, to make a difference, and to make a stand. And to the me black boy the black boy that knows there are issues, but thinks it's someone else's fight. To all of these black boys, I say, you are each the hero that another black boy is looking for.